Hey, I'm Brian Van, Sport by Tractor.com, and today we're going to give you the rundown on the Bell SRT modular helmet. Okay, before I dive in, being open and honest, I'm not a modular helmet guy. I wouldn't ride in a modular helmet, but these are popular. There's a lot of riders out there that they really need to have that, that feature of that flip-up helmet, right? That's really important to them, which is not, not for me. But still, we want to break down how this fits, how it feels when you wear it, the overall interior head shape, and then give you a good look at the features, benefits, and quality this helmet has to offer. This retails for $349. It's available in some solids. It's available in some graphics. It's also available in some blackout editions that are going to ship with, instead of a clear shield, an actual dark smoke shield on the outside of the helmet. Also important to note, it includes a drop-down tinted inner shield. I'm going to say this right now while I'm thinking about it. I like how far down that comes. You know, It gives you that really complete coverage instead of kind of stopping short so it just doesn't obstruct your field of vision at all they did a nice job with that looks good you can ride in the helmet with that in that position and this up at low speed riding that'd be pretty good you're going to increase the airflow of the helmet for sure another thing i like that they did is they're using the same shield here that they use on the star helmets the other full face models and it has that nice little shield lock right here in the center. And it's just easy to close it, lock it, and then open it back up again. Sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money with an intermediate oval head shape. I would say that this helmet runs true to size. I wore this in a medium. I wore it in the office for quite a bit, bit before we did the review to get an idea of how it felt and how it fit me. I would say that the shape of it is just a, a touch rounder. It felt like it had just a little extra here on the sides, still fit really good. And that could just be something that they tried to blend into that modular. It has a really easy on off effort, which I know is important to people that buy helmets like this as well. For ventilation, we have an intake vent up here in the crown of the helmet, intake vent down here, all switchable and at the $349 price point, I would say the action of the vents is what I would expect. It feels good. They feel nice and tight. Exhaust is going to be managed through here. Some reflectives are built into the actual bottom portions of the cheek pads. Let's give you a look at the latch for the modular helmet. It's got a nice big detent right up here at the top. Metal clasps. The latch is right up in here. Also metal pieces in there. So it does look like that would be relatively strong. It's got a built-in chin curtain here. Double D-ring retention system. This helmet is DOT certified. It comes in at 3.9 pounds on our digital shipping scale. The SRT modular features a fiberglass shell. It has integrated pockets and we'll show you this when we dis disassemble the helmet so you can install any of the universal communicator systems with this easily recessed inner pockets another important feature to note for the modular helmet wear if you like to ride with the canopy in the upward position right it has a detent to hold it there but they've also built in a little lock you push this up and you can hear that positive engagement that thing is now permanently held in the upright position so from there, you have it strapped up and you still have the ability to use that inner drop down. So this is going to then function as more of a three quarter open face helmet for you. To release it, simply pull down like so. Now we'll disassemble the helmet, give you a little look from the inside out. I showed you the shield here is the same that they use on the star helmet, but the shield ratchet system is a little bit different. I find this one's just a little tougher to remove, you know, you push the button in and then kind of pull forward. On the star helmet, man, it's just super simple. But on this one, you can see you've got to fight it a little bit. Close up look at that ratchet system. 
To remove the interior, go ahead and raise the canopy up like so. We'll start off with the cheek pads. Got a snap up the top, a snap here in the front, and then you have Velcro towards the back. Let's give you a look at that. Snap, snap, little patch of Velcro right there. The overall quality of the interior, it looks good. The fabrics look good. It's really plush. Like I said, it feels nice and comfortable when you have it on. Super easy on off effort. The top pad, two snaps here at the back. Kind of pull it forward. And up here at the front, you can see that this kind of rolls up into the EPS and these three little clips here engage and hold it in place. The quality of the top pad also looks excellent. Those integrated speaker pockets, can you get a good look at that there, Caleb? Nice and recessed, plenty big enough to hold probably anything that's on the market. If you look at the EPS, you can see the channeling that's built in there and the large ventilation holes. You know, a modular helmet or a helmet that has a flip up inner screen, they never seem to vent as well as some of the high end full face stuff that's out there. Certainly you can manage that with this helmet by just simply opening the canopy, putting that lock position, you'll have all the airflow that you could ever desire. Okay. If you have any questions, just leave those in the comments section of this video. I'll be happy to answer any of those for you to help you choose the right helmet for your application.